Hooke's law states that the extension of a spring is proportional to the force applied to it, and it can be written as an equation. That equation is F equals KE, where F is force, and that's equal to K, the spring constant, times E, the extension of the spring. Now, extension is the difference in length between the original length of the spring and the new length when the force is applied. And we can see Hooke's law in action using this equipment. I have a spring and a ruler and some masses. Now, the force we're going to be using today is weight. And that is basically the force of gravity on a mass. So we're going to be using some slotted masses and a hanger. Now, each of these masses weighs 100 grams. That means it has a force of one newton upon it because weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. The mass here is 0.1 kilograms, and on Earth, gravitational field strength is 10 metres per second squared. Multiply those two numbers together, and you get 1 newton per 0.1 kilograms. Every time I attach another mass onto this spring, I'll be increasing the force in it by 1 newton. Now, for this investigation, you'll need to have a table, and that table should have three columns. Mass in kilograms, force in newtons, and extension in metres. Now, the mass is simply 0.1 kilograms, 0.2 kilograms, and so on, up to about 0.5 kilograms. The force is simply going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 newtons, and then the extension we'll need to calculate using the equipment. So, before I start, I'm going to put my safety goggles on, because there's a very small chance that the spring might spring off into my eye, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And I'm going to start the experiment. Now, the first thing I need to do is measure my original length. And I'm going to do that using the second ruler here to make my measurement as precise as possible. Now, if I choose to measure always from the bottom of the spring, like this, I can see that this is at 50 centimetres or 0.5 metres. Now, every time I take a measurement, I need to minus 0.5 metres and I'll get the extension of the spring. But just to remind me, I'm going to write it down here. OK. Now I start adding some force or masses to the spring. I start with 100 grams, which is one newton. You need to let the spring settle. It might bounce around for a little bit. And then you measure from the same point as before and see what you get. So here I can see that I'm on about 0.53 meters. That means I've got an extension of 0.03 meters. So I'm gonna write that down in my table. So for 100 grams, which is a force of one newton, I have an extension of 0.03 metres. Next, I add another mass. This is the same as having two newtons of force. I let it settle, and I measure again. Now I can see that this has gone to 0.56 metres, which means I've now got an extension of 0.06 for two newtons, or 200 grams. My next step will be for 300 grams, or 3 newtons. And you might be able to now predict what the extension will be. If I measure to the same point again, we can see that the spring is now at 0.59 metres, which means an extension of 0.09. Now, you should carry on doing this for five or six measurements. You need to be careful not to put too much weight on there, because eventually you will stretch the spring so much that it won't go back but you should be fine up to about five, six, seven hundred grams. And you should be able to see that each time you add one newton of force, you're extending by the same amount. So in this case, each one newton of force is making this spring extend by 0.03 metres or three centimetres. Now, if we plotted this on a graph, that would give you a lovely straight line with the gradient being the spring constant K. And the fact that it's a straight line is proving Hooke's law that force is proportional to extension.